Hey everybody. Hello. Do you like adventure? Because we've got plenty of adventure to share. We're outdoorsy. And we're fabulous. I'm Jason. I'm Todd. This is our little child, Ziggy. Say hello, Ziggy. Hi, Ziggy. And, and we're, we're the Vamping Guys. Good morning, everybody. Who is that sitting there looking all handsome? Say hey, Ziggy. Say hi to everybody. Will you shake? You want to give me your paw? Shake. Yep, shake. There we go. Good boy. So are you ready to give me a hand on showing everybody out in the YouTube world how we pack up the inside of Wally? Are you ready? Yes? Good boy. Okay, well let's get started. So I think I'll just start right at the front entrance. Right over here is the power inverter that I had talked about in a previous video. So right before we get ready to head out, I will hook it up right up under here. This is where the batteries are located. And then I will just run it along the floor right up there to the refrigerator plug. Our food and beer will stay nice and cold as we're driving to the campsite. So right here is the wall mount plug and it has two USB ports. And this was a great little buy because we can just plug our iPhones directly into here and put them right up on top of this little wall organizer that I got. And then right here, we'll just kind of hang up our keys or whatever else and just kind of keep it up out of the way. So the next stop is the kitchen. And for a RV that's really small like this, they have maximized and utilized the space very well. So right up under the sink is where I keep the little dish pan and extra dish towels, trash bags, all that kind of stuff. And then over on this side is all the silverware, aluminum foils, Ziploc bags. And down here is where I keep like all the grilling supplies. And then right here's the sink. And I'll kind of just put some stuff in here to kind of hold it while we're driving. Uh, right now I've got some mixers up in there. And then right above the sink, this is where we keep all the dishes. And I've got like, you know, little storage containers. Uh, we pretty much just use the Solo Cups because it's just more user and convenient. But once in a while, we'll get fancy and break out the uh, acrylic glassware. So over here is the stove. And Todd made this great stove top cover. And we just use it for extra countertop space. I'll usually lay like an old towel or something here and we'll use it uh, just to put dishes on to dry out. We also use it for prepping, for making drinks, but it's really uh, come in handy because we never really use the stove. Only one time when it was raining, we used the stove because we couldn't grill outside. And now here we are down to the oven. Oh, you can see my legs, hi legs. And for all of you Sex in the City fans out there, you will be proud because we just use our oven as more storage. And then over here is the refrigerator. In a prior video, I talked about how to get the best efficiency and the things that you need to look out for with these tiny little RV refrigerators. And I'm just gonna open up the freezer so you can see how I packed it. And because we're only gonna be gone for a few days this time, we don't have any frozen food we're bringing with us. So I just pretty much uh, fill it up with a lot of ice some extra ice trays, and then I'll put some freezer packs in it just so it helps it stay cold. And the more packed you make the freezer, the better it will run and keep things cold. And then right here is the fridge. I'll just freeze a couple of bottles of water, put them on the top shelf along with some other cold water. So as the heat goes to the top, that cold water and also the 
RV aerator. I just call it the fridge fan. It will uh, keep the warm air much cooler as it's blowing against the cold wall in the back. And then here is what we're having for our camping trip this time around. And you can see I have pretty much packed it really well, but I've also got quite a bit of extra space. So uh, we can actually get about four, maybe five full days of uh, food in here for uh, camping. And then right over here is the side door, and this is just kind of how I have it all packed up. And I had mentioned in a prior video as well that this little soda area also is great for holding a perfect six pack of beer because uh, Todd, he loves his ice cold beer. Another great little thing for the refrigerator is we have this little strap that clips onto the wall. And right before we leave, I just pull this strap around through the front and then hook it right on the other side. And it will keep the refrigerator door completely closed in case we hit a bump or make a really sharp turn and none of the food will start falling out onto the floor uh, because we didn't strap the door closed. So now we're in the bedroom and we have a cute little full-size bed. It's comfortable but definitely cozy. And right up here is where our bedroom storage is located. And we have these great little organizational plastic containers. I bought a bunch of them for a dollar a piece at the dollar store, and I'll just kind of organize my clothes right up in there and kind of keep them separated out. And then we pretty much do it the same with the other uh, two overhead storage compartments as well. And then right over here, is where we keep our little wall mount TV. It is a smart TV so we can stream Netflix and chill. I also have a HD antenna that goes up onto the window so we can get local channels if there's a really good signal because I do like to uh, have it on the local news once in a while just for uh, little updates on weather and things like that. And then right over here is the bathroom and because all the places that we go have bathrooms and they also have hot showers. We really uh, don't need to use the bathroom at all. And so what we have ended up doing is just using the shower for additional storage. And this is where we put like our chairs. We have a little folding table. We have a shade tent. And we also have these cool little hiking walking sticks. Todd loves owls, and I like things that are kind of more kind of like dragons or lizards and things like that. And uh, these are really great little walking sticks and we bring them out with us a lot. And it's just fun to have and people like stop and ask about them and things like that. And then right over here, uh, I did remodel the shower area, but um, everything's nice and new, but we have never used it because uh, all the campgrounds have hot showers and we take full advantage of that and don't worry about dirtying up the inside of ours. And we have a little cargo hold outside and it's just large enough to hold like the floor mats for outside and a few other things. Um, so I just pretty much just put our little gas propane grill down on the floor right here. And then over here is our little sink area and we'll use it for like just you know washing our face or brushing our teeth but again we don't really use it because we just take advantage of the state parks and the campgrounds uh, bathrooms and right here is a cute little shelf and we will put some things on there uh, while we're camping just to uh, get them up out of the way and then right up here we have a really cute little medicine cabinet and we utilize this quite a bit too, and it's got a cool little lock, so it won't open up while we're driving. And then just right up here is where I just keep a sunscreen, a little first aid kit, and we also have some other things right up over in here too, like band-aids and rubbing alcohol. Uh, you know, just little things in case uh, we get a little cut or scratch or something like that. And then right down here, uh, which was kind of nice, uh, there's a couple of little mirrors that are right above the sink. 
right here. And then down below, that's pretty much where we just keep uh, toilet paper, cleaning supplies, just all the uh, bathroom basics. So one last thing to show you that we have in the bathroom area. It came with this curtain rod. It's more of like a, for a, a privacy screen. So I guess if somebody was using the bathroom, uh, they can just pull a privacy curtain around here and kind of make it self-contained. Uh, but what we use it for is we got a really nice blackout curtain and at nighttime we'll close it because this window right here lets in a lot of light and this little curtain will act kind of uh, as a blackout curtain for us and it'll keep the inside a little bit darker in the mornings so uh, we can sleep in a little bit. Now I'm gonna pan around over here to the wardrobe and we have a really nice large closet and I'm gonna show you how we were able to get that nice and organized and really maximize the space. So I'm just gonna kinda come over to this side here and we'll show you the left side first. I got this really cool hanging organizer with all these great little pocket shelves. Um, down here, I've got a few little knickknacks. I have a little container back there and that's where we keep our broom and fire extinguisher. Uh, this is where we have our cooler. Uh, for longer trips, I've got this cool pop-up hamper and we'll put our dirty clothes in there. And then right here, we have our cute little rainbow umbrella. And the cool thing too is that it actually has a uh, mirrored door. And then here on this side is like a bigger open area. And this is what we use for hanging our clothes right up through here. And then I also put some hooks on each side for just hanging little knickknacks. Right now I've got my binoculars hanging there. And then I'll just put the trash can in here just to keep it out of the way until we get to uh, the campsite. And then I'll pull it out and uh, make it more accessible for us to use. And then we have two really nice large drawers right here. And right here is the game drawer. I turned Todd on to Yahtzee last year and he's kind of addicted to it. So we'll play like Yahtzee once in a while and have some fun. But I've got some other games in here too. And then down here is kind of like our utility drawer. And this is where I keep all kinds of uh, little knickknacks and stuff. Uh, always uh, take duct tape with you because uh, it's a really great thing to have in case something is starting to fall off or breaks or whatever. Uh, duct tape is definitely a must have. We also have like a little weather radio, Bluetooth speaker, things like that. And right here is the futon. You can see we just like to keep that kind of nice and neat. It's really comfortable and We'll sit here and kind of lay down and chill, swing around the TV, put on some uh, movies or a TV show or something like that. Uh, and then right up here is the overhead storage for the front. And I'll show you right here behind door number one. This is where we keep all of our paper goods. And again, we just try to keep it really simple when we go out and we just for the most part eat off of paper plates and use uh, plastic silverware and then here behind door number two is where we have our little office right here I have some outdoor uh, patio lights and things like that but you'll get to see that in a uh, future video and then here is our little office area right here is like paper uh, supplies uh, writing pads, pens, got some rubber bands, just little uh, office knickknacks. And then these two drawers, I've got like batteries. We have some command hooks uh, with RVs. The walls are very thin, so you don't really want to nail stuff onto the walls. Command hooks are great because uh, they don't destroy the walls and you can always take them off if you don't want them anymore. And then right up here, we just have some extra light knickknack stuff. And then up here at the very top, I've got a uh, 30 foot long coaxial cable because some campsites actually do have cable and uh, this RV that we have it is wired for cable and I've used it and it works great and then behind door number three 
This is where we kind of keep our little outdoor supplies. Uh, right here I've got a tiny little tool kit just in case and I've had to use it a few times. You know, just the basics, pliers, a hammer, uh, screwdrivers, things like that. Uh, in this little container, I keep extra extension cords. Here's my outdoor solar lighting. We like to put that out and have like a, a nice little uh, pretty patio area. And then right up here, I've got some solar lights and battery outdoor lights. And these things are really, really bright. And uh, I'll be talking about these in a future video, but uh, it's they, they work very, very well. And then right here, I've just got some candles and things like that once in a while. When we're outside, uh, we like to have a little bit of ambiance, and so we'll light some candles. Now I'm gonna take you around to the front cab area. You can see we have these two great captain chairs. They're very, very comfortable. I did get some seat covers for them because uh, they were uh, looking a little rough and haggard, but the seat covers really dressed them up and made them really nice and new looking. The front dash is huge and we will put some stuff up there once in a while after we park at our campground and we will utilize that whole area for like some extra storage space and we'll get things put up and out of the way up there that uh, we're gonna need to access quickly. And then right here, we've got our little hula guy. Say hi, hula guy. He's our little lucky charm when we're on the road. And then right over here, we have a little center council storage container that I got. And this is where we put our phone and our electronics I'll plug in our fan right here to blow some air on us when we're driving uh, because the windows are extremely large. They let in a lot of sunlight and the N-Dash air conditioner, it is not powerful enough to completely cool down the entire inside of the RV. So what we did was we just got an old curtain, cut a hole on each uh, end of it and reinforced it uh, with duct tape. Uh, here we go with the duct tape. I just uh, said earlier that uh, duct tape uh, can definitely be uh, very versatile. And then what we'll do right before we get on the road is we'll just hook up to these command hooks on each side. We will hook up the sheet and just drape it across right behind the two chairs and it will keep this whole area completely contained from the whole back area. So now the N-Dash air conditioner, which works very well and it blows very cold air, the sheets will keep all the cold air contained up in just the crew area and we can stay very comfortable uh, with uh, the fan blowing the air helps quite a bit as well. So I hope you enjoyed our video today and we always encourage people to comment, to ask us questions. If uh, you want to send us a private email that is listed in the description down below of the video. And as always, please subscribe if you uh, find this video to be fun and informative and share with your friends. Until next time, have a fabulous day and stay tuned. Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you. Ah!